Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome to the first episode of a series that I like to call uh, Hero's Guide for Era Chaos. And we're going to be starting with Catherine because she is the first hero that you're going to get when you start up this game. So I'm hoping that this uh, will be a useful guide for you as you're starting out because we're going to go over her skills and also when to effectively use her and also uh, other information about Catherine. We're also going to be going over other heroes over time. And so let me know your thoughts and we can definitely uh, make this uh, even better guide for you. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at her skills and we're, I'm going to show her how to use them and how they look like. And we're also going to talk about various compositions. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to to, uh, jump out of here we're gonna go into a practice battle because I think this is a good way to get a sense of uh, how to actually use her and I'm going to use this uh, this screen here to actually do some explanations so the first things first a hero is somebody that you have to bring in in order to take your units to battle and as you level up you're going to have increased number of units that you can actually use when you first start out the game these are some of the units that you'll actually have uh, to use. And what we're going to take a look at are the units that are in the that are in the castle faction. So all these different units and all these different heroes, they have different factions that they belong in. Uh, factions have some sort of a bonus, like once you get high enough level. And also the heroes and the units that are in their faction generally have better synergies uh, because they usually support each other a little bit better. And so these are the four units that usually you would start with. And then the fifth one that typically you would get is also the Cavalier. So you have the Pike, uh, you have the Marksman and also Monk and Pikeman, Swordsman or Iron Crusader uh, when you have Catherine equipped and then Cavalier. So these are the five units that you usually start with. Angel is a unit that you only obtain from a specific uh, uh, specific event so I'm not going to put him in here for now now typically in the first maybe five to six chapter uh, three or four chapters you'll probably get up to this point and you'll start also uh, accruing more space so we're going to talk about what are some of the uh, good heroes uh, good good units that you can put in here so let's go ahead and unfilter this now let's let's start by taking a look at her skills because this is where it's applicable so there are two things to look at when you look at any hero because they will have, they always have four spells and they always have uh, their specialty. So in the case of Catherine, she has, her specialty is all about the upgrade to your swordsman. So whenever you use her, she will upgrade the swordsman automatically to crusader and they will have their incre uh, health increase by 20%, which helps them survive longer on the field. If you can get her to two star, then she has a, what we call a global skill. A global skill will apply even if you don't use uh, that particular hero uh, on the field. So as long as you have that hero uh, to that particular uh, star level, then that skill will persist. So at two stars, um, the Iron Crusaders will have a shield equal to 10% of their HP when they're in high morale. So what that means is if you can get some high morale bo uh, boost to your uh, to your swordsman, even if Catherine is not on the field, he is going to, they're going to get additional uh, shield, which again helps them survive longer in the beginning of the match. Okay, and at three stars, you're going to give them further reduction of the damage taken to the Iron Crusaders, and finally at four stars, your Iron Crusaders now will go from nine members to sixteen members, which is actually quite a bit, so that they can be very effective in uh, sh uh, sort of absorbing a lot of damage up front while the rest of your units deal damage. So right now we have Catherine uh, equipped, and so you notice that one of the things that uh, Catherine provides is the mirth uh, spell okay so now we're going to talk about the spells one of the things that she has is these four different spells and all heroes have these i'm actually going to start with the uh, their ultimate spell first so catherine's ultimate spell is called blizzard it's a water type spell and it's a damaging type spell that means that this is the spell that you want to cast on your enemies to deal damage okay and it it will deal damage in an area so whatever is under within the area, those enemies will get uh, damage, and this will slow the enemies. Slow is a status that is applied to the enemies, and some of your units will actually deal more damage to slowed, uh, slowed enemies, and we can take a look at that as well. Her secondary, her, her other damaging spell is the Earth Arrow. This 
actually will deal a little bit of damage. It's not what you're going to use to really uh, deal significant amount of damage, because you can see compared to um, compared to Blizzard, it's really not a lot. But what this does do is it stuns your, the enemies for three seconds, which again uh, makes them unable to attack, and they will be more susceptible to certain types of damage. So it's very useful in various situations. The third spell here is what we call the secondary spell. These are support types spells. Mirth is a spell that you want to cast on your units. And you want to cast on your units that will benefit from it. So Swordsman will always, uh, will always get benefits from high morale because they will actually have their attack increased by 50%. And some units actually have double their, uh, their own effect if you uh, cast this on them. So it's a very useful spell for any of the castle units, and there are others that, as well that benefit from it. Notice though, this only works for non-necropolis units. So if you have like a bone dragon or lich or uh, skeletons, none of those units will benefit from this spell. The fourth and final uh, secondary spell is Slayer. Uh, this spell basically increases attack of any units that you cast on as long as it's friendly. So you want to uh, also cast this onto your own units here. So these are the five uh, that you start with. And really uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you always have Iron Crusader on the field. That is, that is, that is number one. And then the second uh, unit that you should always have along with him is Monk. Because Monk has a passive ability that will always, uh, it has an ability as a trigger that will provide high morale. And what it does is it will give all the units in its own row high morale. And so you're giving additional boost to your uh, Crusaders so that they can, they can also get additional uh, buff. All right, and it's a it's a really good healer, and so it's a really good card to uh, to put alongside your Iron Crusader. And another card that is really good is the Marksman. So Marksman also deals really uh, strong damage. It's a high damaging unit that you could um, you could you could uh, place within your team. And note that when you place it with a unit that causes high morale, the attack is increased by double, which is uh, going to be 50%, 51% uh, in this case. Okay, so it, again, another unit that benefits from the, uh, uh, you know, from, from the high morale. And then we have Cavalier, which also benefits from, uh, benefits from high morale because it will also increase the critical damage. So all of these things benefit from Catherine's uh, skills. And so what you want to do generally is, I think with Catherine, she's a sort of more, more or less a balanced type unit. And so you want to mix a, have a good mix of uh, defense and attack or, uh, or range attack. And so in this case, for example, you might do something like, uh, like this. So here's an example. What we're going to do is I'm going to go into, uh, we're going to go and battle in the, in the practice round. And then we're going to talk about the skills and how to use them, when you should, th uh, should use them uh, for it to be effective. So what you want to do is you all always want to make sure that you cast Mirth on your units that, re that, that will benefit from high morale, right? And then for Slayer, you actually want to cast it on units that can deal more damage. And so in this case, uh, any, of your, any of your units that have high DPS, for example, uh, would be good. And now what we have is also Blizzard. So Blizzard has that big red circle. Anything within that circle is going to have uh, water damage. And finally, what you can do is you can use the Earth Arrow to stun these units. So you can see there's three seconds where they're not attacking. And that is going to be effective usually if you go up against units that... Um, sort of take some time to charge up and they're about to deal a, a lot of big damage and that actually uh, can slow them down. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna quit out here. I'm going to uh, change my team a little bit so that it's not uh, quite so overpowered because I have I, pl I placed the defense here uh, for defense I've placed I guess that it's uh, here, here's the defending unit. I'm going to make this not as quite as strong here just so that we can sort of show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm just going to put all defenders here so we can show this a little bit more effectively. So let's go ahead and change this to all defenders. And let's go ahead and battle. So again, uh, what I, what I want to show is how to use the skills, how they work, and uh, how you sh uh, when you should use them. So this is the Royal uh, Battleground. 
so, for, so you can practice. So again, uh, what you want to do is you want to try and use uh, Slayer on units that are, you know what, I'm going to change the hero here because Adelaide is a very, uh, very powerful hero that actually is uh, taking out my, uh, my back line here. So I'm going to change this a little bit and what I'll do is I will use, I will change this to Mafala. So let, let's 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 start this again because I wanted to show you how the um, how the marksman and also uh, monk all of these units do with these spells. And if you've used some of the trainings as well, uh, you you know that these spells also give them uh, you know additional boosts like the heals in improved and the damage overall is, is increased. And now here is Murk. So this is what you want to cast on your own units. So so far these are the two secondary uh, spells that I've cast on my own units. So you can see here, um, you know, the Iron Crusaders are actually getting good uh, output there. And then we can stun our units here, right? We can stun our enemies with this spell, even though they're immune, they can still be stunned. And then finally we can use the Blizzard spell uh, to sort of deal that uh, wide, uh, wide damage. Now one thing I didn't go over is that. The spell for Blizzard also causes slow. And so there are some units that will deal additional damage when they are slowed. So you can take a look at a Marksman, Double Strike. So Marksman will have a 17% chance to shoot two arrows uh, when it attacks, and a second arrow will deal you know, more damage on that target. And if you do this on a target that's been slowed, then it actually will basically tr increase that trigger to, to 100%. So, uh, so instead of a 70% chance, this will go to 100%. And so you're, you can use your hero, in this case Catherine, uh, when you put when you use a water blizzard on any units, uh, now your marksman will deal uh, double damage to, to them as well. So this is how the synergies work out. Now, as far as the hero is concerned, uh, she is a very popular hero, even amongst, uh, you know, like arena. So you can see a lot of these, uh, a lot of players still use, um, still use them in, in arena as well as duel champions. I actually see a lot of players using Catherine, because uh, Catherine's spell, her her spell for uh, Blizzard is really effective against the backline. So you'll often see that. You often see that uh, when you uh, play a uh, fight against her, that she will attack the the any you know any ranged units or any casters, and they are if they're high enough level, they can deal significant damage to take him out right away. And what's nice is when you play something like Arena, it's you don't have control over the fights that you, you know you don't have any control over the spells that you cast and the ai typically will uh, prioritize using the ultimate skill and so that means you're always going to be casting the blizzard spell as much as possible and so this will this will become uh this makes it easy in a sort of a non-controlled fight because you're using a high damaging spell against your opponent as opposed to some of the other heroes that don't have a very high damaging uh, ultimate skill so in sort of those type of fights Catherine is actually a relatively safe bet to use uh, because you can usually deal enough damage to the back line to help your team survive and so uh, that is for PvP case. Now, in the case where you're playing against uh, other opponents, where you do have control over them, then you want to focus not just on the ultimate skill, but you want to also make sure that you're boosting your your own heroes as much as possible. And so uh, I think that's pretty much it. I want to make sure I have a I have a checklist here. Uh, so in terms of the skills, we've we've taken a look at her skills here. And there are, I think the things I haven't covered are her skins. So this is her default skin here, and she does have two other skins that you can uh, acquire. This one is from a, uh, from an event. I'm not sure if it's going to come back or not. Uh, that's the captain one. But Royal Wedding is a skin that you can actually unlock uh, by playing through the lore. Now, Catherine has a lore that's unlocked that you can actually go through. But in order to fully unlock everything, you need to have her un uh, up to three stars. And so I do have another video that talks about uh, the lores here so that you can go in and you can uh, check it out for how you can unlock them. 
So finally, I guess this is sort of a, a final review on Catherine. Um, whether or not she's useful and, and, and if you should invest in her. I think that she's really good uh, to get to at least two stars. And I would recommend three stars just so that you can get her to... Just so you can get, uh, you know, get the lore. And because she is a... Uh, she's one of the, the first heroes that, that you get. You can always buy her... Um, you can always get her... You can always get her tokens in the guild... Uh, marketplace so she is another hero that is easy to actually uh, purchase so you can see here I am 61 out of 150 to get her to four star and you just need to spend 500 uh, you know guild tokens to 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 you know get her so she is some uh, she's easy to, to acquire and whenever you participate in uh, in the guild activities you can see that all of these things, like you can see here is the guild activity when you earn a uh, chest, you always will earn Catherine as well. So she's a hero that is easy to eventually get to four star. So it's not something that you need to really uh, rush on because you'll eventually get there. And I think she is uh, well worth it, especially at four star. Uh, your, your Iron Crusaders will become really, really um, difficult to deal with. And so that is, I think, everything that they need to cover for Catherine. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, things that you specifically want to know about particular heroes. Um, I'm going to, you know, take a look at the, the, the comments and then we will cover more heroes as well. We'll talk about how, uh, how they're useful, what units are best to use with her, uh, use with them, and also how to set them up, etc. So that's it for today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, any feedback would be appreciated and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.